I survived 48 hours without my phone. I spent the whole two days with no SIM card, no social media apps, so I had no real utility with my phone. So what am I really trying to do here? For 2024, I set one single goal. Become the best version of myself, whether physically, spiritually, mentally, whatever the way possible to become the best version of myself. And one of those goals was to actually reduce the time on my phone yo what's good what's good what's good perfect so i'm gonna spend the whole 48 hours without my phone so i'm gonna remove my sim card and i'm gonna delete all my apps no social media no apps no way of calling me so i have no way of getting distracted what i noticed is that i'm actually spending a lot of time on my phone without even realizing so my first thing first when i started this challenge was to actually remove everything from my sim card from the social media app and see how much time i was spending on my phone which was quite more than I, than I actually expected. So, no SIM card. Perfect. So I deleted TikTok, Twitter, and other social media apps as well. So I can actually have actually no real phone for 48 hours. Perfect. So we're ready. Let's get to it. And I had a big questioning during this challenge because I'm someone who's gonna spend their time on their phone when they don't, they've done their studies. So for example, I've done studying, I'm gonna actually take a break by scrolling on TikTok, on Instagram, or any other social media apps, or even talk to a friend. My question was, how will I spend this break time? Whether between studies, whether before going to bed, Cool, so it's been like five hours. I've been studying the whole time. And what I noticed is that I didn't need to do any tricks like the Pomodoro technique or so on, because I was just studying. I was not distracted by anything else. This is from what I'm noticing as well. well I removed the SIM card today and I've been studying way more than what I, I usually do. But when I have my phone, I noticed that I usually tend to go to Instagram check other people's stories and so on. I get curious about their life where I usually don't care about, even though I don't think I go that often on Instagram, but I think I watch a lot of TikTok videos at night, especially before going to bed. So going to bed and tomorrow morning is gonna be interesting because I am someone who I usually scroll on their phone before going to bed and as soon as they wake up. For social media, I'm so used to be on social media, whether I talk most of my friends on Instagram, inside jokes with my friend through TikTok. So would I actually miss being on social media? If I'm studying and I have my phone, I have social media, am I actually studying correctly? Or am I being distracted with my phone and not doing actual work? So I use my iPhone to actually film videos, but there's no actual content on it. Like there's no apps, there's no SIM card. So I just use it at the moment for the videos. I was looking through my phone and I noticed the screen time that I have in my phone. So yeah, I do spend a lot of time. I think it was about like three, four hours or even five hours or six hours a day. And which I didn't realize how much time I did spend on my phone. And right now, like, I don't have the SIM card and I don't have the apps. And to be honest, my sleep was amazing. Like I didn't sleep that well for a long time. And what I noticed is that I was actually more focused than what I was before. Because before I used to study, then the first hour goes well, but then I take a break. But after that first break, my flow state just goes to waste. So less screen time equals more me time. And that's what I'm noticing is that Coming into this challenge, my idea was, so after like 24 hours, I'm gonna start missing social media and my phone. But what I'm noticing is that it's completely the opposite. 2,000 years later. Yo, literally, I get so bored if I don't have my phone, like... Uh, and it's so tempting to just put my SIM card and just go on social media. I don't know, I think I'm just gonna go get something to eat, then... and take my shower and go to bed. This is usually my microphone and that I put to my phone usually. So I guess I'll have to buy a new one tomorrow. Oh.
So I got a new microphone. So when I broke my micro, that was a moment I realized that not having my phone was much more than just not going on social media. And what I noticed is that actually our phone is making us more tied to something than we think where we spend more time on our phone and less time in the real life